Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you for stopping by and giving me an opportunity. And if you're returning, thank you so much for your continued support. Today, we are going to be discussing my 2024 planner lineup. How about that? And as you see, I have a huge stack of planners here. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So I'm going to be switching up my mini happy planner. I have been using the um, homesteader, but this, this, I want to use this tiny blooms um, planner. My goodness, I can't even talk. I want to use this Tiny Blooms Mini, um, and it's a dashboard as well. But mint green is my favorite color. And so when I seen this, I knew that I had to have it. There was just no doubt about it. So I'm going to switch starting January 1. I'm going to switch over to this one. And it starts, of course, with your monthly. And then it starts on January 1st. And you've got your weekly. And what I like the most about this, and main reason why I'm switching from the Homesteader to this one, besides the color is the fact that it is neutral. It just has these uh, dots down the center where the homesteader, um, it changes colors from month to month and it has flowers down the center and it just, it's not a neutral planner. So February says, Good things take time. March, start each day with a grateful heart. Happiness is, in, is an inside job. That's April. And May, live life in full bloom. June, you are, entire, you are entirely up to you. And July, there's... No wording, just the florals. I like that yellow color. August, be kind. September, spread more happiness and love. November, happiness blooms from within. It matches the cover. And December, again, no words, just the pretty green and then at the back you have your your last page is your dot grid and it says a final thought now I love this cover I think it is absolutely gorgeous so I probably won't be putting a snap-in cover over this I'll probably just be using it, using this one with, with this cover on it. All right, so then I'm going to be using um, the Live With Less uh, Budget Guided Journal. And <clears throat> what I, I want to get on track with my budget and stop spending. I have a spending problem, I think, <laughs> as do most of us in the um, planner world. But I really do need to try to get my spending under control. So he, this page is just your budget review. And then you start with this divider says big goals and I love these florals 
what event or circumstance is coming up this week that you know you will need to spend money on. And then it gives you, um, this is blank, so you'd put the month here. And then it says, what can you do to adjust and save things you want, things you need? What can you give up, say no to, or let go of this week? That's page one. Then the next page is your monthly budget. And then you have a no, you have no spend trackers. Your weekly expenses. Where do you deserve a gold star? Is there anything you should modify for next week? And then over here you have how did you overcome? Well, first of all, you have where did you see temptation today? And then this is says how did you overcome it? Small victories, what your daily gratitude is, and then today's date. So this is a daily reminder you can and you will. Then page two, again, daily gratitude. What is inspiring and motivating you to financially plan? What is one action step you can take to maintain that motivation? Lessons learned. Day three, when you think about financial freedom, what comes to mind this week? What small steps can you take this week to eventually reach that goal? Again, today's date, daily gratitude, and then you list out your small victories. Day four, daily gratitude. What positive habits have you adopted during your financial journey? How can you continue to hold yourself accountable for the habit? Again, lessons learned. Day five, what small challenge did you make today? How was today different because of that change? I'm sorry, what small change did you make today? I can't read today either, apparently. How was today different because of that change? The date, your daily gratitude, and then a small your small victories. And then we have what emotions do you feel when you spend money? Your daily gratitude. Whether those emotions are positive or negative, how can you work through them to achieve your goals? Lessons learned. Reflect on the past week, so this is page six, page seven, or I mean day six, day seven. Reflect on the past week. Is there any constructive feedback you can give yourself for the coming week, your small victories, to your daily gratitude? Check in, how did it go this week? And then your weekly expenses, and then you start over for the next week. So you have one, let's see, one, two, three, And four, so you have four weeks behind each divider, so that makes this a four-month guided journal. And then the last two pages is just your plain dot grid, so you can map out either next week's um, budgets and goals, or budget and goals, or you can reflect on the past month how things went. And then divider two, spend less, live more. And then just your plain polka dot. 
pay your future self first. So I'm going to be using that. I'm also going to bring in um, the gratitude guided journal as well. And so you've got here, well, first of all, your divider, stay wildly grateful. I think the cover is just gorgeous. Then your first page, um, this is for the week. So your weekly gratitude, affirmations for the week, things you're looking forward to, and reflections. And then, of course, you've got day one, and it's separated from morning to evening. So in the morning, you have one thing you're grateful for, what you want to achieve, how can you set yourself up for success, and then in the evening, you have one thing that made you smile, what would have made today greater, the best part of my day, and then another reflection section. Day two, again, separated morning and evening. You have today's mantra. Today I'm looking forward to what your priorities are. And then the, in the evening, you well, you've also got where to mark what your moods are. Then in the evening, you have how am I feeling, people that I appreciate, what I'm grateful for tonight, and then your thoughts. Day three, again, today's affirmation. What do I want to happen today? What gives me energy? In the evening, one good thing that happened. What can I let go of for a better tomorrow? When do I feel my best? Why? And reflections. And again, your, what your mood is at the time. Next day again. So here we start... We start repeating, it looks like. So, yeah. Or no, no, I'm sorry. So day one, two, three, and then we've got four. Today I'm grateful for how I'm feeling today. Three things I want to achieve today. How I'm feeling in the, this is the evening, how I'm feeling, three good things that happened today, I'm proud of myself, and then your thoughts. Day five, one thing I'm grateful for, what I want to achieve today, how I can set myself up for success. So this is, now it's repeating. So again, you have four it's like you have four weeks as well in this in the for under behind the first divider. Then here's divider two and your third divider. Choose gratitude and then your fourth. And so it's base. It's the cover just colors invert just different colors all right so then i'm also going to use um happy planners classic size undated budget planner and hello this happy planner budget edition belongs to and then you've got your unexpected spins, important, take note. A little progress adds up to big results. And then your monthly. And then of course you've got your budget, your savings tracker, accounts and debts. And then you have a challenge. So it says challenge yourself monthly budget challenge, no spend challenge. Try not to spend money on anything outside of necessities for at least one week during this month. And then you come back and report how you did. And of course you've got your weekly expenses. So 
then you've got at the end you've got your take note check it off don't forget and you start this page again and so what I like about this is it's undated so if I fall off one month it's okay because then I don't have to, I I mean I'll feel bad but I don't have to feel like I neglected my planner because I can just date you know date it for the next month that I start then my next one I'm going to use is the progress over perfection classic recovery planner and so this one again you've got your uh, perpetual calendar up front what your goals are for the month of January so you've got be active rest nourish forgive gratitude acknowledge and action in divider one, January's divider is small progress is still progress. And then of course, of course, you have your monthly, and then you start in on your weekly. And what I like about this spread, or yeah, what I like about this layout is one, it's different. Two, it's also somewhat like the dashboard layout which is my all-time favorite when it comes to happy planners so over here where you normally have your list section you've got to be blank this week I'm going to and then you're going to list the three things that you're going to keep track of nurture a relationship call a friend meet up with a family member You've got your check it off over here, write it down, your weekly check-in. So number one, you have what is taking up space in my head? Two, have I been selfish, dishonest, or afraid? What can I do differently? Do I need to fix something? Do I owe an apology to anyone? Four, what have I done well? What victories can I celebrate? Five, how can I help others or be of service? And then over here you have your gratitude and then your days of the week and how you're feeling each day. Same thing for the next week and it just continues like that throughout the month. And then again you've got your February goals and you start, start over for the next month. So February's divider is take time to recharge. March, find happiness in the journey. And then your April is just um, these abstract um, shapes. May, get a little better each day. June, growing, blooming, becoming. July, make time to enjoy life. August, progress over perfection. September, more kindness. October, give yourself the same care and attention that you give to others and watch yourself bloom. I like that. November, look how far you've come. And then December, growth is a process. Moving forward, keep moving. Same thing, moving forward, keep moving. And then there's your um, notes page. It says practice kindness. And then the back of um, the cover. So I'm going to bring that into my lineup. Then instead of a big, um, well, as you can see, I have dropped down to um, a classic size for a few of these. So here, this one is going to be um, my journaling planner. Um, last year or 
well, this year I had used a big one. This time I'm going to um, drop down to a classic size. January, everything in its time. Of course, you have your monthly. And then your horizontal layout. And I like the fact that this is neutral as well. And I don't think that I needed as much room um, as I had in the big one, which is one of the reasons why I dropped down to a classic size. But I'm also wanting to challenge myself on being able to decorate a classic size since I'm so used to, to the big. February's divider, March, bright skies ahead, just wait. April, create something beautiful every day. And then May, I like these, um, I like this color palette in this um, planner. You are exactly where you need to be. And that's June, July, August. There is joy in simplicity. Boy, isn't that the truth. Let your soul, spirit, let your soul and spirit fly. Like that one. That's September. October, good things take time. November, when you love what you have, you have everything you need. That's that is so true. And then December. And then there's the back of that cover. All right. So now here is the um, work plus life big hourly layout. And so what I'm going to do with this one is I am going to take it off these discs and I'm going to put it on the um, expand the black expander metal discs and then I'm going to use um, the cover the pink cover that I've been using on my um, work planner that I got from Kell of a Plan. Um, I just love the feel of that and I love the fact that um, it has a snap um, closure on it and it's also got a pin loop so um, that way it's just easier to carry. I won't lose the papers or anything out of it that I you know put in it because I travel from office from different offices so I have a lot of stuff that I carry with me. So Work Plus Life by Happy Planner. That's where your name goes. And then you've got your year at a glance. Your accounts and passwords. I really, really need that. Because we have passwords for everything. Then you have your perpetual calendar. January, focus, do less with more. And of course, you've got your um, monthly. And then your January goal, your, your currently page. And I really like this new, uh, or I really like this currently page in here. So you've got your January goals, focus on important dates, and then your to-do list. And then you've got a notes page. Helpful tip, capitalize on the chance to multitask. And then you have your hourly layout. And so um, I figure I've got from like 530 on at the bottom that I can decorate. And then up here at the top, I've got from 530 to, to 730 that I can decorate. And then I've, of course, I've got the sidebar and across the top. So I'm going to just try this out. Um, I'm not going to guarantee that I'm going to stick with it um, because I'm so used to the dashboard 
Um, I'm not going to promise that I'm going to stick with it um, because I'm so used to the um, dashboard layout and that seems to work really well for me when it comes to um, work. But I thought I would go ahead and try this hourly layout. Um, what I like about it is the fact that, well, besides it being hourly, I can list out my appointments next to the hour that it's scheduled for. Um, and I just want to, I just want to try it. So we've got January, February, find your purpose and motivation will follow. March, never forget how wildly capable you are. April, goal, plan, repeat. May, now, it's now or never. Just because it's hard doesn't mean it's impossible. It's June, July, good things take time. I believe and therefore anything is possible. September, if the plan doesn't work, change the plan, but never the goal. Big things often have small beginnings. Inspire, encourage, learn, grow, support, and love. And anything is possible with a little passion and a lot of work. And then you've got these, this page of stickers here and this um, folder. So I, like I said, I'm going to take this off of these discs and put it on expanders and um, try it out. Next, I'm going to try the twin loop, um, and I'm going to try it in a vertical layout. And again, um, I love this cover. <laughs> I love the color. I just love it. So here you've got your year at a glance, your perpetual calendar. Then your currently page for January. Then we've got January's divider, your monthly, and then your weekly. So um, I have used, like, I have used the spiral planners in the past. Um, and I wouldn't say that they didn't work for me. Um, but I just find that it is a lot more convenient being able to take out the pages to decorate, write on, um, because I have such big writing, which is one of the reasons why I use a big planner, um, is because my writing is so large and bubbly and I, so I need a lot of space to be able to write. So... I'm going to try it again and see how it goes. I plan to stick with it, but we all know how that goes for all of this. February, good things take time. Start each day with a grateful heart. Happiness is an inside job. Life in, live life in full bloom. So basically these dividers are... Um, almost exactly what's in the mini I mean because you know this comes from the same line the the big vertical and then the mini dashboard you are entirely up to you be kind spread more happiness and love now that's different let's root for each other and watch each other grow I like that 
happiness blooms from within and then your plain floral divider and your notes page and then the back of that cover um, I'm going to continue with the um, hundred year anniversary the Disney hundred year anniversary planner um, in the teacher layout so I'm going to continue with that that's nothing with that is going to change then I think so here's my plan I ordered this memory keeper um, planner <laughs> just for the cover can you believe it just for the cover so my plan is um, to take this cover put it on this planner and use these um, expander discs on here on this planner this big happy planner belongs to your year at a glance and then of course you have your perpetual calendar um and yes this is a dashboard layout so this is going to replace my current catch-all that i have um and i just for the life of me can't remember the line this is from um it just it escaped me maybe I'll think of it before the end anyway you have your January divider growth is a process and then of course your normal um, dashboard layout your currently page February live in the moment I love that that's gorgeous then March and April look for beauty Beauty Among the Thorns. Just that purple lavender divider. August. No beauty shines brighter than that of a good heart. September. If a flower can flourish in the desert, you can flourish anywhere. I like that. And then October is just a plain divider. November, stay wild and free. And then December. So that is going to be my 2024 planner lineup. So as you can see, um, there's only one planner I'm sticking with from 2023, which is the um, Disney teacher layout. Um, first of all, my, my uh, horizontal and my vertical ends um, next week. So I definitely had to have a new planner to um, replace those two. Um, but as far as my catch-all, I mean, I still have... Um, until December of next year in my current catch-all. Um, but when I seen this, I just knew I had to have it because of all the florals. So that is my 2024 planner lineup. So I'm going to go ahead and start getting these set up. Um, I don't know if I will do a video of me doing the setup or not, but if I do, great. If I don't, um, you will see them as I start planning in them. All right. I appreciate you being here with me and going through my 2024 planner lineup and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. 
And if you wouldn't mind hitting the subscribe button before you go, I would greatly appreciate it. And it would definitely help my channel. And if you want to be notified the next time I upload a video, go ahead and hit that bell notification. And again, thank you for hanging out with me today while I went through my planner lineup. I enjoyed your company and I hope to see you back here in the next one. And remember, until next time, happy planning!